We are good to go. The mic is on. I got my little drinky drink. Don't ask me why I'm in a good mood, but I'm in a good mood. Today's drink of choice is my homemade chai spiked latte, literally almond milk creamer, some Jamaican rum cream, which is this, this fire rum right here mixed with this is a good time. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. No, I think it's like three o'clock. What time is it? It's 140 something. Again, I'm in, I'm in such a good mood and I really don't know why, but we're gonna buy it. Anyway, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Antoinette Evans and on this channel, we are now elevating our everyday and romanticizing our life. I'm in a good mood. It's been a really productive day so far. I have not left the house. I was going to and I'm like, Antoinette, Every time you step out the house, you spend money. I don't feel like spending nothing today. <laughs> I don't feel like doing no online shopping today. But then I heard a little ding ding on my phone. I was just like, oh, what now? I was like, oh, you have a package. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Ran downstairs, went to go pick it up. And I was like, oh, let's just do a video today. Why not? No makeup. And Jemima scarf. My hair's in two strand twist because my, I have enough length now to do some. Why am I so high? I've been jamming all day to like soulcation into some R&B, some old school reggae. I'm, I'm in a good mood and I don't know why, but we're gonna vibe with it. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna keep this train moving and chugging along. But anyway, let me show you what just came in the mail. So, I used to have a clothing subscription a couple years ago. I was experimenting with my fashion. And I didn't really want to spend the money on like buying things just to experiment. And a lot of those stores and brands I wanted to try were nowhere close to where I live. Maybe four years ago? Maybe like four years ago, I used to rent from Rent the Runway. Honestly, it helped me to extend my wardrobe, which I absolutely love that idea. Mixing the pieces that I got from them with what was already in my closet. If I loved it enough, I would purchase it. If not, I would send it back. I love the range of sizing up until when I ended the subscription because their sizing range was no longer an option for me. But now there is a new brand called Newly. This is not sponsored. I did pay for this, okay? I didn't pay for this, but there's a new brand called Newly. I don't know if they're like really new or if I'm just now hearing about it, but I said, oh, let's try again. Let's see if this can be another extension of my wardrobe. I think this will help with what I got going on. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna talk about it. Rate it one to 10, like Keith Lee does with his food videos and see what's gonna be kept, what's gonna be sent back, and if I'm going to continue the subscription or if I'm gonna, Cut it just like I did my film on my just Oh, okay, so first impression, right? I love the little bag that it comes in. This is just the clothing in here. So God forbid if this was outside, the items wouldn't be protected. That I feel some kind of way about. I would like it to be some kind of garment bag. Even if it's just one covering the whole thing, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna stick the bag here. That way it's still in frame. There is no particular order. We're just gonna grab something and try. I think there's six items. Yeah, you're allowed to do six items. If you do a seventh item, it's considered a bonus. I cannot remember how much the bonus actually is, but I just did, I just did six. All right. I'm gonna really grab the colorful thing, but I'm gonna go with the denim first. First impression, this feels really good. Oh, 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 I'm gonna go. I like the material so far. This feels good. This feels good. 
This is a long denim dress. And let's put it on. What size is this? Okay, hold on. First things first, the brand, what is this? Geisha, Geisha Designs. I believe Geisha Designs, an Indian made brand. This is in a size extra large. And then bring it up close so that way you guys can see some of the details with the stitching. I have to say I'm in love with this. I love the cargo-esque feel. I'm a little worried that it's not actually going to fit me. It has stretch. It has some stretch. All right, all right, let's put it on. Okay, I don't feel like taking off my sports bra. Oh, wait, it might fit. It does have stretch, and we're gonna need to like steam it down. It does have stretch to it. Question is, how am I gonna be able to reach the, can I zipper this by myself? Is that an, is that a possibility? Oh, it's cute. Okay, I'm having, having a little trouble with the zipper. All right, I can't zip it all the way by myself. snug around the armpit for me and then my boobs are down here <laughs> the lot of the breasts are up here can I tug her down a little bit okay hold on I don't feel like taking this off I really don't I'm already not wearing a bra maybe maybe once it's zippered the whole way oh yeah I like this I don't feel like taking off the little tank top sports bra situation I don't I just don't Okay, I originally didn't have plans to film. But you know, we are too close to a goal not to. I love how this makes me feel. Mind you, I'm not wearing any shapewear as of right now. I don't even think I need to. In all honesty, I love really how this feels on me. I really do like how this feels. I kind of wish the underarm hole came down just a little bit more. Granted, it's not zippered the entire way through. I can't really reach the rest of it. So probably whenever I do wear this, I may have to ask somebody, my sister or something to zip up the rest of the way. Are these pockets functional? These are functional pockets. I love this. And yes, we are going into the fall season, but right now the weather is a little meh, meh. <laughs> Some days it's 80 degrees. Some days it's nice and chill, especially in the morning. Oh, it's chilly. It is chilly in the morning where you like, you need a jacket. So right now, with the transition of the season, there's some days that are just like, oh, perfect. Like this, I know would be perfect on some days where it's like eight degrees and I'm outside for like half the day. But in the morning when it's nice and crisp and cold outside, your girl needs a jacket. Something like this, I can wear like a turtle, ooh, a black turtleneck underneath, a gray turtleneck, a white turtleneck, a button up. I can wear something underneath. In all honesty, I wouldn't put anything over top. Unless I decide to keep this and we're going into the winter season, then possibly I would keep it for like, you know, the winter for some OPEC tights maybe some high boots in some way, shape or form, and like a really long, like some kind of super long jacket. I honestly love how this fits on me. And I love the idea of this like faux fanny help um belt situation, because I feel like it hides my little pudge, which I don't know where she came from, but she's hiding a little pudge. So just random because it's on top and it's screaming at me. Oh, this is a shirt. Okay, let's try this one on next. Okay, so first impression, I love this. Like, I, I absolutely, I love this. And I really hope it works. 
When I saw the reviews, everyone was just like, they love it, but the arms were too big. Now that I have it here, my question is, how in God's name am I supposed to put this on and close it? This is the front, right? This is the front of it. Turn around to the back. This is the back. I live alone. How in the world am I supposed to get in this and actually close it? All right, let's see. Let's see. Off the bat, again, I like how this feels. I really do like how this looks on me. All right, how can we how can we close this? Okay, so all the reviews that I saw on this top situation said to size down and or get your regular size, one of the two. So size down number one, because everyone said that there was just too much material in the arms. Get your normal size because of the bust situation. Now I see why. I should have gotten, I don't even know what size this is. I think this is a large. In my head, I thought the body aspect had some kind of stretch to it, like the arms. No. No. Like I love, I love the color. I love the, I love the color. I had, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. But the, there's so much, I would have to have gone up almost two. This is enough. This is by Geisha Designs in a size large. Same brand as the dress, but the dress fits so much better than this. Uh, I should have considered an extra large. I should have considered an extra large, but I think in all honesty, an extra large still wouldn't even matter. Because there was so like, there was like a triangle. I mean, you guys saw it. I would have to go up almost two sizes for this to work. So this one is a no. All right, what's the next one? What's this one? Did I order this? I don't remember this one. This is not what I asked for. This is not what I asked for. Okay, I need to go back to my order and double check. This is not what I asked for. And I'll put up on the screen what I actually ordered because I don't have any like pant option in here. I ordered, I don't even know the color. It's like a copper denim. It, it, okay, it's a free people copper denim um, barrel jeans that had a super heavy cuff at the bottom. I did not order a black jacket. I didn't order this. I'm not even gonna try this on. I am gonna try it on. Because it's already here. I mean, it's cool, but there's nothing to it. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, I'm, no. This is going in the no pile. It's not what I ordered. It's also not what I wanted, so. No. Ew. Ew. And it still has a tag on it. This is new, new. I could have went down already. Already, I can tell I could have went down a size. So, this is from a firm. I am very familiar with this brand. This is in an extra large. Oh, okay, maybe maybe my actual size is fine. Where's the arm? Okay, so getting this in an extra large honestly was fine. I think if I got this in a large, I would like it a little bit better, but then I'd have way more trouble trying to get into the dress. In all honesty, an extra large was perfectly fine. I love how this fits on me. The print is a bit much, if I'm being honest. I don't typically go for prints like this. The print is a bit much, but I have a vision for it. This is like a date night kind of situation. More like a solo date night because your girl's love life right now is non-existent. 
I'm in love with me, myself, and I. I like how this fits though. I do. I really do like how this fits on me. This, I will be honest, you're gonna need shape work. Like the dress is fitting to a point, but even with the dress on, once you give like a side profile, if you have a pud, it's gonna show. But here, the silhouette, in love. In love. This, I can do something with. Again, I already have a vision for this. Already have a vision. But I am happy I got it in an extra large. It gives me some give. It doesn't feel like it's like stuck on me. Here feels a little bit like I can't give, but it makes sense. It makes sense because this comes over, so it's a little bit more restricted in the arms, but in all honesty, I'm here for it. I really do like this. So, so far, two no's because one was there for a mistake. Two yeses. Not surprised that the two yeses are dresses. Oh, look at me rhyming. Dress or option number five? One, two, three, four, five. I feel like I don't even have to try this on. I'm already in love. I loved it from when I saw it on the, on the screen. I wish I would've went bigger though. So, oh, let me show you the dress. This is from Eloquy. Again, I'm familiar with this brand. This is a size 14, 16. Okay, when I saw this on the screen, I already knew I loved it. When I went to the reviews, everyone said, oh, the dress is too big, the dress is too big. It stretches out too much. Size down. I should have sized it up. So actually, I, I did get my normal size for Eloquy, but I honestly, I did not want this to be fitted at all. And this, I want like two sizes bigger on purpose. I don't want it to be fitted in any, in any way. Oh, I love this print. I, I love this print, I love it, I love. I love the print, I love how it feels. The material, perfect. I'm perfectly okay with the length. I already have shoes that can work with this. I love it, I just want it two sizes bigger on purpose. I don't want it to be fitting. I just want it to be like a sheath dress. I don't want it to show shape or nothing. I just want the pattern and the material to speak for itself. And then a simple shoe, a simple black heel, a cool, like a cool black bag. Mm-hmm. I didn't want this to be fitted. I should have not listened. This is, this is the concern, right? Because you're dealing with everyday people, which is perfectly fine. They're giving their aspect and their concept of the review. For most, everyone said, oh, the dress runs big. Most people want everything fitted to them, which is perfectly fine. I'm kind of in that in between, but for those that know, you know I love something oversized. This would have been that something oversized, and for me, it would have been perfect. I'm not 100% in love with the fact that it is fitted to the body. Maybe if, like, maybe if the side panel was black on both sides, where it gives more of an illusion of that hourglass, Possibly, but I love this. I love this so much. I would keep it, but I'm, I am going to see, can I go up two sizes? So what is this? 14, 16. So I would get like an 18, 20, uh, a 20, 22. Again, not my size. I purposely wanted oversize. Fit on the neckline a little bit, a little bit further off the neckline, off the neck. The shoulder seam is pretty much right here. I want this seam to fit a little bit more on my shoulder. And then the sleeve, from what you guys can see, you see where the sleeve ends. A size up will put the sleeve probably a little bit longer. Maybe not that long. The length of the dress, I'm perfectly fine with. The slit, I'm fine with. 
And then when the dress is a bit bigger, it won't be as fitted here. Cause see how you can see my silhouette pretty much through it still? Mind you, I've been working hard on this silhouette, but for what I have in mind and for what I want to do with this dress, for like the season coming up, I don't want this to be fitted. I want this to be mod. And a mod fit is not a fitted fit. Yo, I love it so much I'm going to take it off. All right, we have one more. Whoops. This is the last one. So, if you watched my last video, which I will put in the description and at the end of this one, so you can click on it and watch it, you know how I talked about I want a faux leather something. A faux leather skirt, dress, long line shorts, some baggy pants, something of that nature for the upcoming fall and winter season. The dress that I got from the brand deal from the company I worked with on my last video, that dress didn't work. But I ended up going to Nordstrom getting like a faux leather, high waist cream colored mid midi. It comes to like mid, oh, I, I love it. I don't remember if it had pockets. I don't remember if it had pockets, but it's it's fitted. So that's one of those that I have to wear when I'm not on my cycle at all. Because when I'm on my cycle, I get bloated and there is no way. There is no way. But then I saw this and I was like, ooh, could she be something? But now I'm looking at it, I'm just like, she is not going to fit. Like, this is not going to fit. This is from fourth and reckless what size is this this is a size extra large and it looks like again brand new no one's worn this yet oh this must be their tag it looks very much like a free people tag um but yeah so i'm gonna have to take everything off to try this one on this is what happens <laughs> With, you know, leather dresses, leather pants, leather shorts, they are hard to put on. But oh my word, oh, this, this split in the back is high. So this is another one that does not fit. Like, I won't be able to even try to close it at all. Can I zipper it? Nope. I can zipper it to like here. That's as far as I can get to zippering it wise. So something like this, I'm gonna have to end up getting from like, if I want something like this, I'm gonna end up having to get it from a plus size friendly brand. Oh, and I can see myself in this. I really can. But this slit in the back, woo! That is a high slit. Not something I could wear to work. But yeah, this is a no. I can get it to maybe like here but it's not nope 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 my honest review i got six items from them three of them worked three of them did not one out of the three that did not work was something i did not order that's a little frustrating because i really wanted a pair of like barrel oversized denim Denim is not my favorite thing to shop for. And I like the idea that I can order denim on their site, try it on in the comfort of my own home. But again, that didn't work out. So I am on the hunt for denim, but I really don't like shopping for it. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. I don't, my bottom half does not work for like in-store brands. And I, I can't, I don't mind good American jeans, but good American jeans aren't my favorite. And in the style of denim I like, I tend to have to go to the men's department because they have a higher inseam, which I'm fine with. The length works for me. I'm okay with the straight leg. I don't really want skinny jeans anymore. I would love more creative styles for denim, but menswear doesn't really offer those creative styles. But lengthwise, it works for me. So I was really excited to be able to get those jeans. Again, found something that was within my size, a color that I don't have, a style that I don't currently have. 
but I end up getting something I didn't actually order instead, which is annoying. For the price of it, it was $98 before taxes and fees. $98, it took about, I wanna say four days or five days to get to me. I believe I ordered it last, no, it took damn near a week. I wanna say I ordered it either Friday or Saturday. Today, it, it, came, it, it came on Tuesday. So maybe about three or four business days, one of, one of those two. Personally, for $98, it's still a good buy, if I'm being honest. It's still a good buy. For the three items that I'm keeping on a good day, Eloquy, that's at least 158, somewhere around there. That denim-esque dress I've seen in the store for 500, not the same brand. Different brand, Reese, but theirs had no stretch only went up to a size like eight. I need at least a size 14, 16, so that's not gonna work. But all the denim-esque dresses that I've been looking at have been nowhere close to the price of 98. It's been way higher. But $98 pretty much hits, hits it right on the nail for the affirm dress. The like leopard print fitted one, the one I was off shoulder, super pretty. And I, believe, I really do think I like it. I think once I style it up, I'll kind of, whatever. That one, I wanna say a firm is usually somewhere between 68 for their tops. The last dress I bought, I wanna say was around 98 or so, or 129. So their prices range from 68 to 129. Ultimately for $98 and three out of the six to actually work, it's still not a bad deal. What I am going to do, is check the website, which I would highly suggest. I should have checked it before so I could actually educate you guys on this. Should I check it now? Okay, sorry guys, between my phone dying and then I wanted to get proper information. So with this subscription, before the next billing cycle, I can return the items that didn't work and be able to get something new. So tomorrow, I'm gonna return the three. It's gonna take two business days I can pick the items I want. It will take three business days for me to get the items back. So I'm going to opt for bottoms as much as possible and some tops. I wanna do separates instead of dresses because dresses is easy for me. Rude. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this very impromptu <laughs> try on video. But honestly, I love doing these. They're fun for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.